Siggy Jackson is here. Crew Siggy show. Jackson. Power 106. Yes, indeed. Number one for hip-hop. What it do, y'all? Great to meet you, sir. Man, I'm yes. so glad y'all have me up in here. Why is that, man? Well, because, you know, uh, I'm going to say it like this. A lot of my family has been, I'm going to say, scrutinized. They've already made, formed opinions. And people like my father and my aunt, they can't really speak. Because if they say anything out of order, mm -hmm. they're going to be judged. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I'm not going to get judged. I'm the second generation. I'm here to tell it what it is. They yeah. have to be courteous and classy. Well, you know what? I I'm here to come and be nasty. Yeah. Because dudes have been firing at us. They've been firing in our family for years. And here's the real problem. I got children. I got mm -hmm. a wife. I stand by my last name proudly. We haven't had a chance to actually mourn my uncle. I've gone through shit. I had to carry my grandfather's casket. They have to be classy. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to tell the truth mm -hmm. of who my uncle was. And, and, Does and your father know? Uh, and his father is uh, Jackie, Jackie Jackson. I got the old um, man of them all. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jackie I, Jackson. Does he, know, <laughs> does he know that you're here today? Uh, we let him know. We actually uh, sent a message to my uncle Jermaine. And the only thing they told me was, you know, Sig, try to keep everything on the table. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, they can't say a lot of stuff. And then also, they weren't there. I am a child of Neverland. I grew up there. You spent time there? Ah, oh, man, I, I spent my whole life there. People forget that, you know, my uncle wasn't the type of person to say, oh, you have to be invited to, you had the last name Jackson, I could just be in the area, show up to the gate, they're going to let me come in and relax. There might not be movies playing or whatever. Right. It was my uncle's house. My uncle was a family man. And most of the time when people were up there, he wasn't there. So they forget all the accusations that they're saying against them. Okay, well, you see him up there with children, a lot of children. Let's not forget there was probably 100 people with cameras. Mm -hmm. So they're not just saying. Right. Adults try, with cameras. Yeah, so you have adults with cameras. You have family. You mm -hmm. have mothers, mm -hmm. children. And whenever he was there, it was for the public Yeah. to see. And people forget like, oh, so he was just doing bad things. So all these people that were up there with cameras, nobody had nothing to say. They're just right. going to let him do some nasty stuff, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Plus, you got to remember, like I said, Santa Barbara wasn't really friendly with my uncle. If they could have took him down, just it's just any fucking fart blowing in the wind, they'd have took him down. Why? Wow, that's crazy. Well, you got to remember, too, so you have all these people around here that got money in Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. Most of them got money, and no matter how you want to look at it, I grew up in this valley, I grew up in L.A., and a lot of people out here forget... Let's just start back in the beginning. When we first moved into Encino, they called us. They put swastikas on our front lawn and burnt them. They burnt our palm trees down. And this was right in Encino off of Louise and Ventura. Mm -hmm. Told us, leave. We don't want you here. We don't want this. From your own neighbors? From neighbors and other people. Going to school at the time, mm -hmm. we would walk up the street. There's a lady who used to jog down the street all the time and be like, this why y'all in this neighborhood? Okay. But here's the thing. Then they found out who my pops was. Oh, welcome to the neighborhood, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> oh, they switched oh, up real quick. Oh, can we get tickets to your... Hell nah. And don't come knocking at our door neither. Mm -hmm. But then we had the few neighbors that were actually normal. And they called them lovers. So it, it's funny when you sit there and you look at everything that's been going on. We've been through the racism that's been in this valley when we moved here. Mm -hmm. And now for everything to come for them to say, oh, it's just Michael Jackson. Nah, he was a brother. Sure. One of the accusers, Wade Robson, dated <laughs> your sister? Yeah, Wade dated my sister for quite a long time. It was somewhere around nine years. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, you know, when I hear Wade, he's been... People forget. Let's just you know him personally. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, you I spent know a lot Wade. of time with him. We spent a lot of time with him up in Neverland. I mm -hmm. met his mom's joy. Mm -hmm. I met Chantel, and I'm not going to speak too badly about them. The opportunist. So people are forgetting the basics. Let's screech our brakes back to the beginning. He started off with lying to the public. So everyone and then forgets retracted. the basics. Yeah, and then retracted, then threw out another lie, then retracted, and then he said, "Oh." I'm going to write a book. Well, the book got fly. It flopped. Oh, wait, I'm going to sue the estate. It got thrown out of court. Oh, wait, I'm going to I'm going to dance and I'm going to do the Cirque du Soleil. No one wants your whack little dance moves no more, man. Nobody wants it, man. You had a great contract with America thinks I can dance and all of that. You burnt bridges. 
everyone forgets how small this industry is. And and you guys being no, in it's power, so true. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. you guys know this. You go to one event, you're gonna see everyone from artists to executives. Yep. You're right. All you gotta do is burn one bridge. Okay, well let's be real. He cheated on my sister with Britney Spears. Okay, broke up. Justin broke up. Timberlake. Yeah, and, broke yep. up. Just okay. Now let's be real. You f-ed over two big people in the industry. Mm-hmm. That's not including the caboose that is attached to them from managers, executives, business people. So when he burnt those bridges, he didn't just burn the bridge, he blew out the foundation. So now you got no work. He got eight black balls served into every corner on his pool table. Mm -hmm. You can't get work, you can't do Now let's not forget the response that he put out. Oh, my girl is gonna leave me if I don't get back to dancing. Well, one, your dance moves are whack. Let's not be funny, but all the dance moves always change. Hell yeah, they dated. I mean, if you look at Michael from when he started off, Mm -hmm. you have to stay consistent with it. Yep. But this is a boy who sat there and said, Michael's my idol. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to follow him. When he was alive, when your uncle Michael Jackson was alive, what did he say about Wade when Wade was attacking him? Because he was attacking him while he was alive as well. You know what was funny? My uncle was the type, and he said it like this. When they go low, you go high. It's that simple. You can say what you want about me, mm-hmm. but like you said, the truth runs marathons. What would your uncle say today? To be honest, I don't think my uncle would say anything. He would say, in fact, you're a liar, and he would release the wolves on him, drag him through court. Because really what happened, they say Wade had a mental breakdown. You had no mental breakdown. You, you had a financial breakdown. The other day I was watching something, they're saying Drake took Mike's song off, whatever. So did The Simpsons, okay. and so did a lot of radio stations. But I'm going to tell you like this, I'm a simple man. I work on bikes, I, I, I fix cars, we do real estate. Okay, so it My comes man. down to this. i never seen Drake talk shit about nobody that didn't talk shit about him. Right. i never seen that man start no drama. As far as The Simpsons and everything, I, I would call that smart business. My uncle was a businessman at this mm-hmm. point. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, if, if I see drama, if I see fire on the table, the easiest thing to do is step away. So I'm going to say it like this. When they said they took the song off of Drake's his show, did the audience enjoy the show? I take it they did. It didn't cause no drama. Mm-hmm. It kept him in peace. Like I said, he's never, ever ran his mouth. He always been about business since he was on Degrassi, since he did his thing. So it's nothing but respect for Drake. To me, that's business. Sure. You know, he's just keeping a, so you guys a even understand platform. That. Right. You guys understand that. Okay. He didn't say nothing wrong. He didn't do what Oprah did. He didn't give him a platform. Oh, yeah, I believe him. He said, hey, we're going to keep this peaceful. Right. We're going right. to keep everything right. And, I mean, not to be funny, look what they just did to Nikki. They're talking about the power went out and they start screaming Cardi B. This is how the fans are. You mm-hmm. got to you got to keep everybody happy. Very fragile. Yeah. Well, they're our lifehood. Exactly. This is our, this is our, ex, this is our extended family. Is the fans when when uh, HBO did this this doc and it came out? Were you guys were you guys given a heads up about it or you know what I mean? D- did it come out of nowhere for you guys? Well, to be honest, it didn't come out of nowhere because here's the thing: when my uncle passed, uh huh, Wade had nothing. He has no work. He has no one to run to. He started running his mouth then, and don't forget, they started chasing my sister down. We had times, and my sister mentioned in her interview, and this is funny that this is the woman who dated this child. We've been up in Neverland with him. Mm -hmm. We have done, I I know this kid, and most of the time we were up there, it was me, my sister, Wade, Chantel, his mom, Joy. My uncle Michael was never there. This is a busy man. We're not talking about a dude who sits around on his ass. We're talking about the greatest. My uncle. If he's not touring, he's producing. My uncle was an angel on this earth, man. And, and it's real funny. You, you, you rarely meet people who are not attached to material like that. Sure. My uncle's the type of person, if he ran into any of us right now, he would sit in this room and say, who's having problems today and what are the problems? Because he's going to say, let's, let's get real. Would I rather help somebody on the street or do I want to give my money back to the government for taxes? Don't forget, his taxes are huge. Mm-hmm. So he, I, I'll sit there and be like, you know what? Let me go buy... $20 million in computers and give them to all the schools. That was my uncle. Oh, you're sitting on the street, you can't afford to pay your rent? Well, I'm not giving it back to Uncle Sam. Let me let me make sure you're helping. You saw yeah. Drake's thing. Yeah. God's plan. Let me help you all That's out. Right. Yeah. A man only needs so much to live on, and my uncle was that person. He always yeah. stated to us, this is just material. Yeah. It comes, it goes. We make this. Don't ever forget that as men, we make the material. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make us. Where were you when you found out your uncle passed away? I was sitting at the house, and actually, it's it's crazy. I got a call from my boy Porkchop. 
Marcel, I, I, we were riding for West Coast, and one of our boys went down on Sunset. So he gave me a call. He said, hey, I don't know how true it is, but we blocking off the exit over here at the hospital. They had like 60 riders up there because our boy went down. He's like, your uncle's in the hospital. And he's on a slab. He sent me a picture. So it's crazy when people, so this is what people don't understand. Hmm. I had to break the news to my father mm. about my uncle Michael dying. Oh, no. I had to tell him he was at UCLA. Then he told me I got to call my grandmother. I'm the only one who spoke at my uncle's funeral for my family's side. I didn't expect my father and them Why? to speak. My father and them were heartbroken. Yeah. I don't expect my grandmother to get up and speak and say nothing. It's too hard, yes. You know, so for me, I have nothing to say but love because this is also a man who raised me. Mm-hmm. You, you you know mm-hmm. and father figure uncle. he was mm-hmm. he was a you know he was a real uncle and yeah. you got to understand like i said my pops and them are old school they're not gonna leave their children around something like that and let's not forget that every time we were there so when wade pops up i'm like now nah, i've been here my whole life this is my uncle this is the man who used to tell me you're about to be in trouble so all that michael stuff went out the window the only time i think i was ever scared of my uncle is when the only surprise was when he did thriller Wow. Because all the kids are running around. we like, he's going to turn into this, this werewolf. <laughs> we're scared as hell. That used to you know, scare the living he, out of me when yeah. I was a kid. Well, when I my uncle did thriller, it, it yes. was a surprise to us. You know, he was sitting he's like, I got a surprise for y'all. No we're way. We're not telling nobody. And, and, and my grandmother, she's like, Michael, Michael, do, t- tell, tell, tell the kids what you're doing. I'm not telling them, mother. I'm not telling them we're going to watch it in the theater. It's going to be a surprise. Uh-oh. When he turned into that werewolf, everybody was in the house like, uh. Oh, my God. How funny is that? When he said, I, I, I want you to be my girl. I, you know, I, I'm different. Mm-hmm. He turned them yellow eyes. But we was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Right, right. nah, we're going <laughs> to that time, yeah. At that time, that was the best effects available. Yes, you know? exactly. You know, it's funny. And people forget the basics and everyone looks like oh michael's such a weirdo if he was such a weirdo everyone forgot men in black zed i could be agent m yeah yeah my uncle was a clown Mm -hmm. my uncle had fun a good sense of humor they were mad at him due to the business that he did yeah they were they and i can't even say mad is that they didn't have a part of it let's be real i'm 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 gonna say it out there straight for everybody listening my uncle didn't die he was murdered i feel the same thing about prince we're losing a lot of stars because you have to remember, these are basically insurance policies. When he dies, whatever was owned by the company reverts back. We're not talking about $100,000. We're not talking about a million dollars. And everybody in this room knows a million dollars, I don't care if you're a normal person, ain't getting you shit. After taxes, you still got to live the same. You mm-hmm. still got to stack your mm-hmm. money. Mm-hmm. But when my uncle died, we're talking about billions of dollars. Can right. you imagine if Prince, when he died, sold little red Corvette to Chevy? Mm. Woo. Let's just Outta say, here. let's just, you think about it. Yeah. They say Prince died broke. How do you die broke with a billion dollar catalog? If he would have sold three songs, he'd have had a couple hundred million sitting in his pocket Absolutely. to play with. Yeah, yeah. All he had to do is, here, take these three. I got the catalog of the rest. Right. Notice that when my uncle dies, why do you hear all his music? Why is there a Motown cartoon out now? Mm-hmm. A, B, C, da, 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 mm-hmm. right, right. easiest. Okay, well, obviously when my uncle was alive, he wasn't giving the rights to anybody. But when he dies, all of a sudden, oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Is the family the still benefiting from all of his music and his catalog? When you say benefiting, I mean, you. I guess for this last name, because of what my father and him did, that is the benefit. That's the pride of standing for this last name because, you know, when I grew up, people don't understand... My father and them, they were around. Yeah. But then also when we were around, if we wanted to see him, we had to go to a show. So it wasn't like uh, personal. We'd have to sit around in this, oh, hi, Pops, we love you. But then you got people coming and taking pictures yep. and this and that. And right. This. So when we grew up, it wasn't even groomed. It was we were told you can't do this because of what's going to come back. You know, so when you look at it, say, how can how can I say this, man? My uncle has been, he was born in this business. He died in this business. His whole entire life. His whole entire life. So, you know, when when I sit here and I hear Wade and this other dude, let's be real. And I'm I'm sitting at the table. Y'all can tell me how y'all feel. And and I'm open to opinion. Mm -hmm. I've had horrible shit happen to me. And any of that horrible stuff, I've got rid of. 
I'm not going to keep uh, you show. They showed Wade burning the pictures of Michael yep. and doing all this stuff. So why does the weirdo keep a ring? And let's be real. Like I said, Neverland was a toy for my uncle. You think my uncle's going to buy some little ring? This is a man who, for us as children, closed down malls right. and let us have free random run of the mall. He didn't bother us. He looked at us and said, the mall's closed down. Y'all go get what the hell y'all want. Wow. Tell me the price at the end. We'll close down Toys R Us. He was never that type person. He was no funny dude. My uncle, my uncle was a man. People forget this, and they forget the basics of where he came from. He was a man born in Gary, Indiana, went through hard times, showed up in Motown, and then he came out here and he made a name for himself. And worked for every dollar. Worked his ass off. And here's the thing people don't understand is that Michael Jackson still would have been Michael Jackson. He was a singer and an entertainer no matter what. Yep. If he would have been singing at Knott's Berry Farm, mm -hmm. it might not have been all the big stuff, but he was going to be singing and entertaining somewhere. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you ever get time to yourself, look up at the sky and, and talk to your uncle? And if so, what do you say? You know, there's not much to say. Uh, if I because it feels like he's him, not resting in peace. They will not let him rest. It seems every every couple years a rat comes out of the, I'm, I'm gonna say a rat comes out of the woodworks with the hand open. It has to be draining for you guys. It has to be draining at some point, though. I worry uh, about your grandmother. You know, that's that's the stress. We just, like I said, she's still dealing with burying my grandfather. Yeah, yeah. You know that that just happened recently, and at her age right now, I think she's at the point where. It's frustration and anger. And the problem with me is I feel like, uh, you know, my skin is thick. I've been groomed for the And not to be funny, I'm a man. How is this affecting his kids? And why does Paris claim that none of you call her? No, no, no. Or nah, check nah. on her? Well, we call and check on Paris. But Paris also, Paris is young. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it like this. So you have to understand. So I check on my cousins all the time. But Paris is young. Paris has dealt with a lot mm -hmm. she's dealt oh, with absolutely. a lot of stress a yeah. lot of drama Who and can she's forget a lady. her crying at the uh at the viewing remember yeah, that and she mean, got on the microphone this is also paris was paris was in my way we can forget uh-huh you know this she's a sweetheart but people forget she's young i'm tired of them fucking with my cousins i'm tired of them throwing just just throwing shit on their plate and this is not something they dealt with if, if my uncle was here he would have probably showed them another way to deal with it this is how you slide right. the plate to the side mm -hmm. don't even sift for corn or gold in a pile of shit. you could you could get gold out of another way she actually i think just needs time to herself to think and like i said because she's young she just spread her wings She's had a uh, from modeling and this and, and that, acting, sure. but let's not forget she's been on the judgment table since she was born. Yeah, yeah. And everyone thinks, oh, my uncle were. was weird about how he had his children. So what I'm gonna do if I'm Michael Jackson? I'm gonna walk up to you. Yo, what's up, shorty? I'm Michael Jackson. I want you to love me for me, right? Right, right. You know, don't worry about all the money I got. Don't worry, I did the moonwalk. Don't worry about my legacy. Just love me. <laughs> my moonwalk. I yeah. Know, right? I don't think that's gonna happen. I could see somebody walking up and be like, yeah, I love you for that black platinum cord. Mm -hmm. You, you yeah. can get me something, pay mm -hmm. my rent. Mm -hmm. This is still, we still live in America. People yeah. forget the basics. They forget the gift of the present. They forget the blessing of just waking up every morning. And then we sit here and listen to the negativity like yeah. Wade. When the truth comes out, Wade's going to wind up back in Australia as an immigrant working in some side market selling crickets and grasshoppers. You think so? You think he's going, who's going to give him a job out here? Where is the truth? Ah. <sighs> Where does it lie? What do you mean as far as that? The family says it's not true, right? It ain't true. It's not true. It's it's it's. How do we prove that and let this let this end already? I I, I would think Michael it would be Jackson difficult because well, Michael's not here. How does he get to get up there and make fun of people who actually really went through child abuse, who have really went through rape? They stood up there. They're not victims. Yeah. They're liars. There's actual victims. They're manipulators. Yep. They're sitting up there. I didn't see any tear in his face, to be honest. I know the dude might have had some problems. Uh, James dip shit about the ring. He might have some problems. I wasn't from an uncle. Mm -hmm. He might have had some other problems. That might have been his parents. That yeah, might have yeah. been something else. On TMZ, you can see. there's video, I guess, now pulled back from the 80s where he's buying a safe chuck some jewelry. What does that mean, though, right? I don't mean. So, so okay, so if Drake want to go buy somebody a necklace right now. Mm-hmm. It's a that's, problem? That's a problem? Right, right. No. He's a weirdo? I, I want to hear your opinion. Mm -hmm. What is the worst thing Michael Jackson can do to you? Not f*** with you. 
cut you off and not cut talk you to off, her. ignore you. And if you heard Joy in her interviews, we chased Michael down. Yeah. I tried to get him around my son. I had to get work for him. I, I was trying to get Michael around him because you can't get work. Because really, if you look at it, Michael Jackson, and this is nothing to the people who love my uncle and do impersonations. Michael was a Michael. He, he was just a Michael Jackson impersonator who got to meet my uncle and his mother was very aggressive and opportunist mm -hmm. and pushed her son to be around him. So my uncle said, okay, I can help you. I mean, it's not gonna stop my business, but you know, here and there. Mm -hmm. He stood up as a poster child. So why hasn't Macaulay stood up? Macaulay was around him all, all the time. Mm -hmm. Yet all these- But he has Aaron, said in the past you know that nothing happened. Along with Corey Feldman. Well, you know what's crazy? Aaron Carter came out and said that he was he around Michael Jackson. Yeah, and he said, he said <laughs> on would, site. He said, wait on site. They've been firing at us for years. I'm not my pops. I'm not none of them. I didn't do the fucking moonwalk. We work. We do real estate. Mm -hmm. We do business. My wife is a USC graduate. Some also say, listen, Michael was so busy that, fine, here's what you want. Leave me alone. Let's be real. So if I come to you, bro, and I start lighting your house on fire, right. I light your grass on fire, and Please I start don't, messing I'm renting. with your kids. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not my home. <laughs> you know what, though? But if you had the money to make it go away and stop, here's the craziest thing. If my uncle did nothing, he inspired people. We had an event going up, uh, going on up at the ranch one day, and I remember sitting up there. My uncle Michael said, "Hey, we got a few people that were late," and so I he had this thing called the Moon Rover. It was go, it was a golf cart, badass stereo system and TV. So I'm yeah, as man. a kid, I'm like, "Oh yeah, I get to drive this yeah, and go over." Yeah, yeah. I go over and I drive to the front and I pick up. It happened to be Bill Bellamy and Jamie Foxx. We pull out. So when you walked into, when you came into my uncle's ranch, you drive up, you see this beautiful lakes, you mm -hmm. see flats and horses. It's and amazing. Plains. Yeah. It's beautiful. But in the back, when you come out the back, you walk through the kitchens. There's an arcade, and then there was a hill that drove up right to the train station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bill and Jamie get in the car. We drove up. They saw the train station. They said, "Whoa, whoa, 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 stop!" A black man owns this. This isn't, this isn't, he's not paying for it. A black man owns this? Uh, uh, Siggy, I'm sorry, turn this shit around. He got on the phone with his manager. He said, this is possible. Everything mm -hmm. I thought wasn't possible, this is possible. to tell your uncle, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the inspiration. Thank you for everything that's going on. Just to, just to let me see this. To, to know it's possible that no one can stop us on this. And they got on the phone with the manager. Yo, man, you need to get us some work. <laughs> Seriously. This is I'm looking at a train yeah. station. Yeah. I mean, I'm, looking, house. I'm looking at this brother on a train station. I don't yeah. even see anything else. Like, bro, a giraffe just walked by me. Right. You know, <laughs> and as as a youngster, I'm sitting here going, you know, I'm like, why, why don't you want to come over join the party? <laughs> you know, then I thought about it after the years come over, you see how they've grown. Mm -hmm. And you see how everything, the business progresses. My uncle has sat there and touched everyone's life. I don't care about what dance moves you see, mm -hmm. you're going to see a little bit of Michael in it. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the videos you see, you're going to see a little bit of Michael in it. Yeah. The, the, he, he and a few other people have changed this industry. Well, yeah, he defined greatness, man. And, and you know, I, I'm speaking on my uncle's presence, but I'm also speaking on the other people that we've lost. Yeah. From the David Bowies, from the George Michaels. There's a lot of people that we've lost and they try to tear them down. Mm-hmm. They're not going to let it. And, you know, for me to sit here and say that it's just personal with what they did to my uncle, well, let's not forget what they did to John Lennon. He, he ain't here no more. Mm -hmm. As soon as they saw that his antennas lined up, like dude said, where was your antennas? Right. Okay, well, dude's antennas lined up. They saw that. They're not here anymore. Isn't it funny how we just lose all of them? Mm -hmm. So you look at this right now, you're like, okay, so when my uncle passed... You know, I hear about this. There's probably over 20, 30 adults in the house. You have this dude who shot my uncle up with this BS fluid. And I'm going I'm to say, we, we all know the story. Mm -hmm. Right. You go Dr. Run Conrad and get, Murray we're talking about, right? You go and get the children. You got security guards. You got cooks. You got staff. You got everyone. He goes, oh, I tried to give Michael CPR on the bed. A, a damn lifeguard knows you don't do that. I'm just having bouncing on the bed. Right, right. No, no, no. You leave. You come up in a car that my uncle bought for you, but you leave in a taxi. Let's not forget, when you do surgery, you have an anesthesiologist. You're going to have the surgeon. You're going to have this. You're going to have that. Well, the anesthesiologist is the only person who has the key for that. Mm -hmm. If any of us walked in and stole what they shot my uncle up with, we'd be in jail forever. Mm -hmm. Period. He's been released. 
He's been released. For He's years living now. good. He's doing his thing. So what does that mean? My uncle was murdered. If I come and get, if I tell you, I'm gonna give you say, twenty million dollars. Mm-hmm. I can't sleep. You're a doctor. I need sleep. Are you gonna take me to the hospital? Or are you gonna turn my house into a hospital? Mm-hmm. This is all you have to do. He did right. none of the above. He got his money. They probably told him, "Hey, you're gonna lose a little time. You're gonna sit for a minute, but we're gonna get you out of this." And sure really? enough, sure enough, yeah, they got him out of it. A lot of conspiracies, huh? That's you crazy. have to remember, yeah. my uncle Tito's wife, his wife was murdered. My aunt Didi was murdered. What? So, oh, people have forgotten. They don't understand yeah. the shit that we've been through as a family. It's been very rough. Her boyfriend drowned her in the pool. Yeah. Mm. This is a woman who wouldn't take a bath. She was scared to take a shower. She filled in her jacuzzi. She would. She would not. So when they said she was, he, she was in the pool. Yeah, right. And then after they found out that he murdered her. Let's not forget, he murdered four other women previous to that on his boat. Oh, man. Damn. They keep coming after our family. Right. So when the f*** does it stop? When do we finally get some defense? What are you working on today, man? Well, today, let's see. I got a song out with my man Brandon Howard, Lose Mm -hmm. Control, been doing that. But uh, actually, I got a car show. A car show? Yeah. What? My man. So it's a celebrity car show. So Mm -hmm. this is my thing. Me and my wife are doing real estate. We've been doing that. But we've also worked our way into me getting back to my normal thing. Yeah. Which is, you know, since I did the Aaliyah video, Mm -hmm. I've always been into bikes and cars. That's my thing. So we're doing a celebrity car show. We're letting everybody know we got a few people coming out. So it's going to be classic cars, newer cars. We have some lowriders in there. I'm not mad if we okay, get some low low. That's right. We get some low lows <laughs> in Cali. Exactly. Hey, we in right. Cali. That's a part of the I'll Cali I'll pull up in the yeah. Honda Civic with hydraulics, my G. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hold you to that. I'm going to hold you to that. Now yeah. I got to go get a Civic. Now you have to go find one. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that. We got somebody who can do your pumps, though. Hey, hey, oh. hey, 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 that's what's up. Hey, we can lace you out. Yeah, I like that. That'd you know, dope. like that. So we when and it. where? Um, and how can people get uh, uh, tickets? And well, SiggyJackson.com. That was my wife, by the way. It'll benefit the American oh, Cancer nice. Society. We applaud that. That's yes, amazing. Make sure you guys you know, go to CDJackson.com. And to everybody out there, I mean, it's uh, we've been tr- I've been trying to push this for a minute. Yeah. But you know, like my thing is cars. It's anything that really burns gas. And I don't bikes care if as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I got a love for bikes. Oh man, you and the sports kids, dude got it. So yeah. right, right. You know what's crazy is we had a My conversation about. Me drama about. We had that. a conversation about T- motorcycle riders. Tell him how they break your heart. And I told Jeff because Jeff rides a bike. Your heart, I said these motorcycle riders always break my heart because Why? when I'm on the freeway and I see them in my, my rear mirror, I move to the side, I scooch, yeah. and they don't say thank you. And I was waiting for the wave, but he okay. explained why they don't so, wave. I was going to say, so one, uh-huh. when we cut in lanes, hands on the grips. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I, I've been, okay, so I've been hit by If you let go, bottles. you can lose control. Right. Well, well, not only that, you got to remember, we're focused. So as we're coming through, we're looking ahead. You, you're trying to. We're coming through. If you notice, we're revving. Bom, 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 yes. bom, bom. Right. So the 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 saying is, loud <laughs> exhaust saves more lives than the Red Cross. Ah. To all my peoples out there on coming. two wheels, keep it on one or two. Keep all eyes open. Try not to chop lanes. But really, we really mean to say thank you. But in all honesty, we don't want to do this and be like, thanks. And then dude opens the door, cuts us off, and you're like, oh, damn. Right. Oh, you're going down. Now I know, so my heart's not so broken. But good, I would good, be, good, good. I was waiting it. for the wave, and I wouldn't get it. I'm like, why you didn't wave? Most riders aren't happy cutting through lanes. And I guarantee you, most of them come off, and they're like, really? Ooh, like, thank God. Thank God. Yeah, 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 I made yeah. it. And you know, I'm cutting lanes on a bagger. So mm-hmm. I'm cutting lanes like boom, 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 Right, 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 right. And I see somebody come up. Ah, hey, man, you see me? I know you see me, mother. <laughs> don't play with me. You, you saw don't... me, dog. Well, you got to <laughs> remember, we hit the pavement. It doesn't move. She's going to kick your ass every time. That's right. right. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. It's, it's unforgiving. You know, it's not, and it's not if, it's when. Yeah. You're going to meet her one day. She's she, she going to kick your ass see, every time. See, sports dude, you're going to meet that pavement one day. I better before. Yeah, I'm he's met it before. <laughs> You know, that's yeah. that's like your Why does she have to be a her, though? Why is pavement a her? You know what I mean? That's your freaky deaky lady. She be whooping your ass <laughs> when you hit it. That's your freaky deaky right there. Yo, man. Siggy, thank you so much oh, for being here. Thank you so much. We greatly thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for being so transparent thank with you, us. Sweetheart. We appreciate you. We appreciate and the visit. Yes. And here's the thing I just wanted to leave with people was like this to say. Let's not forget the basics and, and, and preserve humanity. My uncle was a down-to-earth, very, very humble man. He never cared about money. He never cared 
about anybody's attitude. He always accepted people for who they were. Gay, straight, a little bit off, mentally handicapped. He didn't care. My uncle was an angel walking this earth, man. 